Hello everybody! My name is Veronika Lemeshenko and I welcome you to join my little musical story about the poet and musician Minstrel. The story is for everyone – harpists and non-harpists, musicians and non-musicians, children and adults. So, let's start! The Minstrel served as a court musician for a French noble and followed his lord everywhere until he died on a battlefield. Following the loss of his master, the minstrel was forced to travel from town to town, gifting common people with his music. In Provence villages, on the holiday celebrations, a dance called Rigodon was very popular, and later it even entered the higher class society. You can hear it now. The minstrel knew that somewhere in Ireland there are true masters of harping, so he crossed the La Manche and Irish Sea on a trading ship in order to perfect his own skills. There he met a blind wandering harpist Turlu or Caroline. His performance combined a Celtic spirit and all the contemporary innovation of classical European music of that time. <laughs> The minstrel reached the deepest areas of Ireland, 
where he listened to the ancient and magical folk melodies. How deeply our minstrel was moved by Irish harbors, cold and rainy Irish weather forced him to go back to the south of France.
of the wandering musician made the minstrel long for the south to the exotic countries. So he boarded the familiar trading ship and crossed the Mediterranean Sea to find himself in Africa. The new bright impressions blow the minstrel away. African rhythms, harmonies and even the nature itself inspired him to create new music. One morning he noticed the graceful antelopes, which were moving like in a dance, and our minstrel started to accompany them on his harp. friends, sea merchants, are going to go to Mauritania to get spices, and of course our hero joins them, looking for a new sound. The original Berber music combines in itself Arabic and African tunes, and when the minstrel went right into the Mauritanian garden, looking for a bit of shadow, the new aromas and melodies helped him to create a very hot, intoxicated and brightly colored wonder. that were loaded to the ship, the most valuable, even more than gold, was sweet vanilla. Needless to say that our minstrel dedicated his next piece to this treasure.
crossing the Gibraltar from Mauritania and Morocco, our minstrel reached the fairy Spain, where rhythms of flamenco captured him with a deep passion. How charming and exciting Northern Africa and Spain might be, our minstrel started to dream about his native friends. Once his horse is saddled, Minstrel galloped to France, precipitating the joy of meeting his native land.
travel to France after a long travel, the minstrel learned that it became a real mecca for arts. Especially popular became solemn music and two of the most popular musical instruments, harp and clavier. Harpists were very often favored by high-class rich nobility, so composers almost immediately started to create duos for harp and clavier. Our minstrel was introduced to a composer Jean Ladislav Dussek and was very pleased to perform his compositions. It is well known that Jean Ladislav was favored by two of the most powerful women of Europe of that time, Catherine the Great and Maria Antoinette. The voyages of our minstrel has come to the end, but left many bright impressions and inspirations for the rest of his life. He became a famous composer and raised the art of harp playing to the unreachable height. And now in each of us who plays the harp or composed for the harp lives his spirit. <laughs> much for being with me till the end of our little musical story. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.